Mama Says. Today we're going to be talking about uh, five of my favorite teething toys. Um, and this little guy is five months old now, but he probably started chomping on things and wanting to put everything in his mouth at about three and a half months. Um, and right now I'm pretty sure there's going to be a tooth breaking free just any day. He has a little bit of a fever. Right now he's in a very happy mood, but he's been having trouble sleeping, all of that. Not, not wonderful things that these poor little guys have to go through. All right, so the first toy I'm gonna to be talking about is the very classic Newbie Teether. And this is probably about $3 at Walmart or Target. And it's great because you can freeze it, you can put it in the microwave so it can be cold or hot on their little gums. It has these little um, silicone hairs, nubs, that feel pretty good on their gums, I'm guessing, because he loves putting it in his mouth. It's pretty easy for him. <laughs> Are you mesmerized by the camera? It's pretty easy for him to hold. So he enjoys using this. This is not one of the ones that can occupy him for a long span of time. This one, it feels good. He loves using it for a little bit, but then he kind of loses interest after a while. But it's so cheap, it's so easy to clean. I think it's worth getting. So, one newbie teether. All right, the second one I wanna talk about is the Matchstick Monkey. Now, this little guy comes in lots of different colors. He is great, and I would say at four months, almost on the dot, is when this Matchstick Monkey really became useful. It's great because the way that it's formed, it's easy for them to hold. Now, I'm gonna see if he's gonna be cooperative. Can you hold this for me? Can you hold the monkey? Can you do it? No, are you too excited? You're not gonna grab him? Okay, so not gonna be cooperative, that's okay. So basically he can hold it like this really easily. He can bite the head, he can bite the feet, he can even, he likes to chew on the tail or the different arms. So this is so great because they, it takes a few tries and they get the hang of it and they're able to hold it really easily. And just anywhere they bite is things that they wanna bite. So this has really come in handy. He likes using it. We usually put a little, um, little bead leash on it and clip it to him so he doesn't drop it but this has been a great toy especially right about that four month mark it really he really was able to start grabbing it and using it all right the third teething toy I want to talk about is kind of a funny one and I'll link it in the profile I got this from Amazon oh there you go I got it from Amazon and I call it his little alien friend it's actually supposed to be a giraffe but this one is great this one was great at three and a half months because, and you can tell he still likes it, um, because of the way it's shaped, he's able to, he was able to just put his fist in here and chew on it, which was awesome because the other teething toys I kind of had to hold for him, which wasn't very sustainable, but this one, because at three and a half, he didn't have as good hand control, I was able to just put his fist in there and he could chew on it to his heart's desire. Now he's a lot, well, not a lot, very coordinated, but he's a lot more coordinated. Um, and it has these four little nubs on it that he loves to chew. It, it um, There's a little bell in it, so it's kind of like a rattle as well. And he basically just chews on any part of it he can get to. It's really soft, it's dishwasher safe. It's, it's kind of funny looking, but it's probably our first teething toy that really he was able to use. All right, so this is teether number three. Teether number four, we have Old Faithful <laughs> Sophie over here. Now Sophie, I think, will be a better teething toy maybe when he's teething that second time around, um, when he's a little older, and he can sit up and play with it more. Um, so far, I haven't thought that Sophie is worth the 25-ish dollars. Um, he does like playing with her. It has a fun squeaking noise. See, look, yeah, he likes playing with her. Um, he usually likes to chew on the horns, but sometimes he'll chew on the legs, but it's not like he has other toys he likes playing with. So I think even though this is pretty good, I don't think going the second time around I would have spent that much money on it, but now that he has it, he does enjoy playing with her. Um, the downside is you can't put it in the dishwasher, which is a bummer. Um, yeah. So there's Sophie, I'll let you hold on to that while I talk about the fifth toy. This I, uh, this was a um, impulse buy at Target. 
and it's meant to be a glove that you can put on your baby's hand and they can chew and chew away and the reason I got it was um, when we were at restaurants a lot of times I'll let him sit on my lap or my husband will have him sit on his lap and he always wants to chew on everything and so this seemed like a great idea just put on his hand he never dropped it I didn't have to keep picking it up for him um, because it's attached to his hand the only issue was this and this was on some of the reviews online um, a lot of like his hands don't fit all the way inside of it very well and so it will fall off like so I'll put it on it will work for a little bit and then it will come off of his hand because yeah because it's a little too small I think on the inside but this is actually one of his favorite toys even without it being on his hand so it didn't serve my initial purpose um, of being a good like hands-off for me item for him but he loves all right can I take this away for a second I'm gonna take this away sorry 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 all right so this part is um, silicone that he loves to chew on has a lot of ridges but then this part the the part the glove part um, is cloth and it's really crinkly so he loves chewing on both sides I can show you how it's supposed to go so if your baby has small hands this might be great so it's supposed to all right mister go on their hand come on come on and you velcro it and they can chew on it and it's just on their hands in theory shouldn't be lost but like I said it does come off pretty easily in my experience just because of you know chubby little baby hands um, if I had maybe if I had gotten it when he was a little younger it might have been more useful but like I said he's still even though it's not serving the purposes I wanted he still loves playing with this he loves chewing on both sides of it um, all right so again I talked about the the newbie teething ring talked about matchstick monkey Sophie this funny giraffe that I said I'd link to um, in the show notes and then right here is the um, this teething mitt from Target and I'll link all of them um, in the comment in the below and I'd love to hear about just even advice on teething in general and things that babies like during teething um, you can talk about toys talk about different tips and tricks that you had to help get these babies through yeah I'd love to hear from you all right have a great rest of the day